Two aides of notorious UP gangster Vikas Dube, who is the main accused in the cold-blooded killing of eight policemen last week in Kanpur, were chased by police and shot dead early Thursday morning in separate encounters in the state, officials said. Police said that one of the gangster's aide, Prabhat Mishra, who was arrested on Wednesday, was shot while trying to escape the police custody. In a separate encounter in Itawa, Dube's private gunner, Baban Shukla, was killed when he was trying to escape after stealing a car. With this, five criminals involved in the Kanpur shootout have now been killed. The Uttar Pradesh police on Wednesday arrested two policemen for allegedly tipping off gangster Vikas Dube before the Kanpur encounter, in which eight policemen, including a deputy superintendent of police, were killed. Kanpur SSP Dinesh Kumar Prabhu told reporters that they have arrested policemen Vinay Tiwari and KK Sharma after a probe revealed that they had tipped off the history sheeter, who continues to be on the run. Meanwhile, the Haryana police has arrested three alleged accomplices of Vikas Dubey in a raid at a house in Faridabad after a tip-off that the gangster was holed up there. CCTV footage of a person resembling the gangster trying to book a room at a hotel in Faridabad on Tuesday night went viral. However, the man managed to flee before the police reached there. Prime Minister Narendra Modi late on Wednesday night called the family of the slain BJP leader in Jammu and Kashmir. Prime Minister Modi expressed his condolences to the family of Sheikh Hasim, BJP's Bandipura district president, who was shot by terrorists along with his father and brother on Wednesday. The killings are being seen as major security failure. Reports said that none of the eight cars provided to Hasim as part of a security detail were present during the attack. They've been taken into custody for dereliction of duty and are being interrogated, reports added. The attack took place barely a few meters from a police station. The Indian Army has asked soldiers to delete 89 apps from their smartphones, including Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and several apps already banned by the government, news agency ANI has reported. The apps, including dating apps such as Tinder, OkCupid, and Couchsurfing, have been banned for security reasons. The social media apps that are a no-go area for soldiers include messaging platforms, video hosting sites, gaming and dating apps, and also some e-commerce options, the report added. Lockdown will be imposed in containment zones in West Bengal for seven days from 5 p.m. on Thursday to check the surge in novel coronavirus cases. Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee said on Wednesday the situation will be reviewed after seven days and the next course of action will be decided. Banerjee said if it is seen that the number of cases are coming down during this period, then some relaxations will be announced. She urged people to maintain physical distance and wear face masks. Mamta Banerjee directed the police to be strict with those violating norms and send people back home if they are found without masks. The West Bengal government had on Tuesday decided to expand the areas under lockdown and impose tougher restrictions from the 9th of July to stem the relentless spike in COVID-19 cases. The Amarnath Yatra will be conducted in a staggered manner this year with no more than 500 pilgrims allowed per day as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, the government said on Wednesday evening. In a high-level meeting in Delhi, it was decided that the Yatra to a shrine sacred to devotees of Lord Shiva would be allowed for a fortnight starting July 21st. The shortened Yatra will seize COVID-19-specific SOPs in place, such as testing of people from outside Jammu and Kashmir and social distancing. Researchers from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology claim that the number of COVID-19 cases recorded per day in India may rise to 2.87 lakh by early 2021 if a vaccine or treatment isn't developed soon. Although USA is currently the worst hit in the world, the team from MIT's School of Management says that India will surpass US soon. According to their prediction, daily new cases will be second highest in the US by Feb 2021 at 95,000 per day, followed by South Africa, Iran and Indonesia. The same study also claims that the actual number of cases is 12 times higher and the death rate is 50% higher than the reported numbers. Even so, all nations are still well below herd immunity levels. After the CBSE announced that it has decided to reduce its syllabus for class 9 to class 12 for the academic session 2020-2021 by up to 30%, the board issued a clarification on the rationalization saying that it was a one-time measure owing to the pandemic. 
The CBSC clarification comes in the backdrop of the Education Board facing criticism for its decision to drop key chapters like democratic rights, federalism, citizenship and secularism from school courses. The board stated that the objective behind the cut in syllabus is to reduce the examination stress of students due to the current situation of the coronavirus pandemic, leading to health emergency circumstances as well as to prevent learning gaps. The Ministry of External Affairs on Wednesday came down heavily on Pakistan over the Kulbushan Jadav case and said that the Indian national was coerced by the country to forego his rights. The MEA's reaction came after Pakistan's claim that the 49-year-old retired Indian Navy officer refused to file a review petition and reconsideration of his death sentence and conviction. The MEA statement said in a brazen attempt to scuttle even the inadequate remedy Pakistan has refused to initiate a review petition, it is a continuation of the farce that has been in play for the last four years. Despite our repeated requests, the MEA said Pakistan continues to deny India free and un- Despite our repeated requests, the MEA said that Pakistan continues to deny India free and unimpeded access to Jadav. Veteran actor and comedian Sayyid Ishtaq Ahmed Jafri, better known by his stage name Jagdeep, breathed his last on Wednesday in Mumbai. He was 81. Jagdeep passed away at his Mumbai residence due to age-related issues. Jagdeep had been a part of several big Bollywood films through the 70s and the 80s and even through the 90s. Best remembered for his act in Shole as Surma Bhopali, Jagdeep worked in 400 films. Late actor Irfan Khan's son, Babil, has spent a heartfelt note pointing out reasons why his father's efforts to elevate his acting went in vain. Slamming Indian audiences for not evolving, Babil posted two candid pictures with Irfan on Instagram and wrote that his father got defeated at the box office almost all of his life due to hunks with six-pack abs delivering theatrical one-liners and defying the laws of physics and reality because we as an audience wanted that and we enjoyed it.